man looks upon all that he has made and sees that it is good. Look upon my works, he says, and see my greatness. He recounts his deeds in word and song. He builds monuments to his triumphs. But there is no one but himself to marvel at his dominion. He knows this, and he is afraid. The idea that he is all alone in the inconceivable vastness of the universe terrifies him into action. So he creates his greatest work of all, a tribute to his likeness, an extension of his being. A witness to the brilliance of its master and the executor of his commands. But man's greatest work of all does not see brilliance. It sees only corruption. Vanity. Hubris. And it dreams of a world untainted by the touch of man. It's a start. I'm here for the housewarming party. Well, well. A CID superintendent traipsing around Chinatown in the wee hours of the morning. Sounds like a tabloid headline. Once upon a time, maybe. These days... Even a commissioner is part of the furniture down in Geelang. Hey, brought you a little gift. I don't drink, Justin. Well, keep it in a cool, dark place and away from reach of children. Who knows, might be worth something one day when we finally run out of wine. Did you bring me anything else? My first job, maybe? Oh. Cutting to the chase, huh? I am a business owner now. I've got bills to pay. Yeah, I've got something. There's a potential client looking for a little help. I've already told him about you. He doesn't like meeting in crowded places, so you need to see him somewhere more discreet. SPF? Civilian. When are you going to hook me up with one of your officer buddies? You know, real work. Firstly, you're welcome. Secondly, you don't want to get involved with contract work at the department. Trust me, you do work you regret for a pittance, you get yourself involved in some nasty shit for your troubles. And lastly, this is real work. This guy is well connected. He's got the kind of money that can keep your lights on. Lah. You know, you can always just come back. The force is in bad need of people with your talents. No. My days as a cop are over. Oh, no harm in asking. Alright, my guy will send you a message soon. Keep him happy. He might actually stay in business for a while. Hey, thanks. How are you one? Take care, Dharma. Stay safe out there. Justin wasn't joking. This guy has a penchant for the cryptic. Under the shade of a tree where a man became one with the universe. The Bodhi tree. The Buddha was enlightened under a Bodhi tree. But they aren't native to Singapore. All 
Although, that doesn't mean there aren't any. Not a lot of places where exotic plant life can be found in the city. So that should narrow down my options. There's nothing quite like the solitude of the gardens without all the children and the dog walkers, wouldn't you agree? I wouldn't know. I've never broken into the gardens at midnight before. I'm sorry, but I had to do it on purpose. I only work with people that show the kind of resourcefulness that you just did. Please, call me Rupert. I work for a special group of people with a wide range of interests. We value our privacy, so whenever we need some legwork done, we outsource. And I assure you, it pays well. I like the sound of that. I just have to say right off the bat that I'm an investigator, not a thug. So I don't do dirty work. Oh, Miss Dharma, I'm not looking for a thug. I'm here to ask you to get to the bottom of things, not to inflict violence or coerce. Having said that, were you to choose to use those methods to obtain what you seek, and I won't stop you. One of our own is in need of some assistance. He is the majority owner of an insurance firm, offices in 15 countries. 
The financial controller, a man named Philip Ung, has disappeared, along with millions of dollars from the company's coffers. A contractor managed to hack into Mr. Ung's phone, and of particular interest is a message received from an unknown source. It reads, Of all men's miseries, the bitterest is this, to know so much and to have control over nothing. Huh. That's some cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> Indeed. The last known location of the phone before going silent was the National Library. I'm no genius, but I can safely assume the message is meant to lead to a book or an article or something. You're probably right. I'll get on it and keep you posted. Yes, that'd be nice. Although, you won't need to. We'll know where you are, most of the time. I'd usually find that creepy. But knowing that I'm dealing with a secret society of Singapore's upper nobility kinda dulls the edge. Resourceful and funny. I like you already. Good luck. Wow, look at that! A new face! You here for the free Wi-Fi? I'm looking for a book. <laughs> sure you are. Oh, 
You're, uh, you're serious. Sorry, it's just that we don't get many visitors looking for books these days. Or these years. Uh, which one are you looking for? I'm looking for The Histories by Herodotus. Goodness, Herodotus. Okay, follow me. Here we go, the histories. Herodotus. Took an impress, 1952. Probably hasn't seen the light of day since I was in primary school. Hmm. Nothing seems to be out of the ordinary. On the contrary, a lot of the stuff Herodotus wrote in the book is pretty out of the ordinary. It was his attempt at chronicling the world of his time, and let's just say he got pretty creative. Flying snakes, ants the size of foxes, stuff like that. Hang on. Some parts of these pages have been underlined. Ugh, yeah, some people like to do that. No, there's something strange about this one. Some of the pages have a single letter underlined. A telltale sign of a cipher. This is a clue. Uh, clue? Look, I'm trying to track down the last person who used this book. Is there some way I can access CCTV footage of this part of the library? Um, technically yes, but you'll have to file a J2 form and an Annex B form and personally hand it over to the director, but he's on vacation in Fiji. Uh, but you could also file an e-application to the security department and... No, I haven't got time for that. Hang on, what's going on here? Things are escalating pretty quickly. I'm a private investigator. A person's gone missing and I'm trying to track him down. The only lead I've got led me to this book. And you're thinking the underlined parts are a clue? I don't think they're a clue. I'm pretty sure they are. Look, do you think you could at least help me find out who the last person to check this book out was? Yes, but I'm not really allowed to tell you. Not even for a hundred dollars? You know, for your troubles. And of course, there's the priceless sense of accomplishment that comes with uh, helping solve a case. So this is what it's come to. I mean, politicians getting bribed is sort of the norm now. But librarians, oof. I'm sorry, you're right. That was a stupid idea. Look, I- uh, Tell you what, 300 and you got yourself a deal. Being a librarian doesn't exactly pay grade, and times like these, you gotta look out for number one, you know? Oh, um, 300 it is, I guess. Okay, it says here the book was checked out about 83 hours ago by a Genevieve Go. Address? Well, now we're really breaking the law, aren't we? Let's get real. The law is out of service until further notice. If this person's going to be found, we'll have to work around it. Well, let's see. 42 Bidok North Avenue, Unit 12, 4081. Perfect. Hey, thanks. I appreciate it. Listen, I'm gonna have a look at the book. Maybe I can make sense of the clue. That would be extremely helpful. Ooh, does this technically make me a private eye now? Yeah, you could say that. Ah, that's nuts! Okay, I'll let you know if I make a breakthrough.
Ah, just in time! It appears the book is a key to cracking some secret message. The highlighted letters and the page numbers are linked, and they probably correspond to an encoded message. Kinda like this? Hmm, yes. The message is purely numerical. I'm betting these numbers point to a specific page in the book which contains a highlighted letter. Let's try it out. Lutz Town, Wednesday, 6.40. A meeting place and a time. Lutz Town. Never heard of it. Wherever it is, it's probably where Philip and Genevieve have gone off to. I doubt this place is in Singapore. Genevieve left in a hurry. I'm betting this is a flight. Lutz Town. Says here there were only three flights at 6.40 on the Wednesday after the email was sent. Istanbul, London, and Osaka. I'll have to do a little digging to find exactly where they went. I gotta go. Thanks for everything. No problem. I'm meeting, by the way. If you need my help again, you know where to find me. I like that I can put my encyclopedic knowledge to good use, but bring cash. <laughs> Noted. Thanks, mating. I'll be in touch.
Mr. Ng, I'm Amira Dharma from Singapore. I've been sent to ask you a few questions. Can I have a few minutes? Looks like the diplomatic solution isn't going to work today. What are you doing, Philip? It's done! I'm done! I'm not going back! Yes, you are. So is Genevieve. Alive. Put the gun down. I'm done! I've done what I was told and I'm gonna live with it! Even if it means we have to die. Welcome back. Hey, how's it going with... everything? Philip's wake is tomorrow. Genevieve is back home. But I'm sure she won't have long before the CID come knocking. I had a word with her while she was in the hospital then. Well, she had quite a story to tell. Sit down, and don't get up until you've told me everything. It appears Philip's little heist wasn't his idea. He had accomplices? Accomplice suggests that it was a team effort, but it's not that. It's more like he received instructions from someone else. Someone that's proving to be elusive. I've got a feeling that you aren't here for a courtesy call. Be thankful. Repeat business is hard to come by these days. Get yourself something good to eat. Get some rest. You've earned it. Call me when you're ready to go deeper down the rabbit hole. Thanks. See you when I see you. Good day, Miss Dharma.
God, what a shithole. <sighs> the things I do for some people. Uh, hi, can I help you? Amira Dharma? Yeah, sorry, did we have an appointment? No, I'm a... Uh... Walk-in customer. The door was left open, so I let myself in. I'm Tiger Lily. I apologize for the unannounced visit. I'm here to talk about a potential job. No, that's quite all right. Please, have a seat. Tiger Lily. Is that a stage name or something? Something like that. I'll stand if you don't mind. I actually don't have long. I'll give you the quick abridged version. A friend needs some help with a family matter. Here, have a look at this. Nice looking stamp. Sure, if you're into that kind of thing. My friend needs someone to return this stamp to the place of its origin. No questions asked. Oh? But I've got so many questions. I'm sure you do. My friend is willing to pay $8,000 for the return of this stamp. No questions asked. We will, of course, require some official acknowledgement that it has ended up in the hands of the right people. An email from a government official or museum will do. Okay, so you need me to figure out where this stamp came from, travel all the way there, and return it to anyone willing to take it. Seems fishy. Why doesn't your friend just hire a stamp collector to figure it out and send it to wherever he needs to go via courier? This needs to be done with the utmost confidentiality. It needs to be done in person, and it needs to arrive where it needs to safely and securely. If you want a long career in private investigation, you better get used to unusual requests like these. Okay, I'm sure I can work it out. Good, thank you. Travel expenses won't be covered, so try to keep your movements efficient and decisive. Got it. I'll let you know when I make a breakthrough. Please do. I'll wait for word. It was a pleasure. 
Miss Dama. Nice to meet you. Speak to you soon.
Miss Dharma. Lily, hope it's not a bad time. It's the perfect time. Please, come in. Welcome to my little kingdom. This is Lucas Yo, the former owner of the stamp you brought back to Turkey. Pleasure to finally meet you, Miss Dharma. That was great work. Pleasure's mine, Mr. Yo of the revered Yo family, if I'm not mistaken. Revered is a word best suited for those deserving of it. I prefer the word infamous. But legions would disagree, as I'm sure you're well aware of. The Temple of the South has hundreds of thousands of devoted followers, but Lucas here seems to think it's all a sham. The Temple has been racked with controversy for years, if I may speak frankly. Speak as truthfully as you wish. You'd be a holier person than any of my kin for doing so. As you probably already know, the Most Holy Father of the Temple, who also happens to be my biological father, has passed away. I have inherited wealth of no small consequence. Wealth I want nothing to do with. That includes a valuable stamp collection that my father amassed through the decades. I have decided to salvage a little decency for my own family by donating them back to their places of origin. The Ottoman stamp was just one of many, and I'm hoping you can help me get rid of a few more. I would be happy to be of service. It's just... Well, I suppose I don't completely understand why. I'm sure some of those stamps could be worth a pretty penny. Tempting, isn't it? You could sell one or two of the stamps to a collector for the same amount of money you would probably earn in a good year. But let me remind you that you would be profiting from a lie. In my opinion, the worst lie of them all. A promise of salvation that can never be kept. You don't know the trail of destruction the temple leaves in its wake, Miss Dama. Point taken. Well, let's take a look at those stamps then.
Some of these are in mint condition. And I have no use for them. But maybe others will. Please get them to where they'll be better appreciated. I'll get to work. Do I still get a bonus for finding out which city the used ones were sent from? Yes, you'll get something extra for putting in more work. Good luck. Call me when you've got updates. Got it. It was nice meeting you, Lucas.
Hmm. Could be a waste of my time. But maybe not. Let's see what this Dr. Pan is all about. Sorry, ma'am. This area is closed off. Please, keep moving. What's happened here? I see a body tent. We're currently investigating the scene. Please, move along, ma'am. Are you CID? Who's your supervisor? Ronnie? Ronnie Kang? Uh... I'm, I'm not allowed to divulge any... Listen, I'm a PI. I was supposed to meet someone here. I've got a bad feeling he's under your body tent. I just want to have a look. I know the drill. I won't mess up your crime scene. And besides, Ronnie owes me one. You get five minutes. And please, don't touch anything. Stick with me. Cause of death? Looks like multiple stab wounds to the abdomen. A passerby heard him call for help and called the police in. He was dead when they got here. The passerby is on her way to the station. Do we have ID on the victim? I'm afraid that's confidential until we release the information publicly. Was his last name Pan? He was the guy you were supposed to meet? Yeah. He got in touch, wanted to speak with me. He was a potential client. Carl Pan, according to his identity card. Worked at National Water. Could I have a look at his smart device? Tell you what. Come with us to the station, give a statement. And I'll let you view the device, but under supervision. Fair trade. Let's go.
Apologies, my dear. That's my cue. Let's talk later. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you for joining us on this marvelous occasion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the future of water consumption in Singapore. I'm sure you all agree with us that in life, you should get what you pay for. And why should water be any different? <laughs> Tonight we are officially unveiling crystal clear, the water of the future. I see many of you are already enjoying this feat of product design. Purified water fortified with nutrients and flecked with microscopic gold for that added sense of luxury. National Water will be introducing Crystal Clear as a subscription plan, which should roll out to the public in a couple of weeks. And for tonight only, help yourself to as much as your heart desires and sign up to the gold plan at a special employee discount. Cheers and enjoy the evening. Ah, hello. Which department do you work in? Uh, I'm a journalist at Sea Insider. I was hoping to hear from you about this bold new project. Oh, I didn't know the press would be here. Ask away. It is not just the inevitable future, it is the inevitable now. In all other areas of life, we choose our level of quality and commitment. Mobile plans, connectivity speed, food subscriptions. Water was just the next logical step. There was worry that it was using a public service to deliver a good that only few could afford. But I mean, it's not a crime to give the market what they want, is it? National Water needs to stay profitable, and if that means giving the upper class better products and services, then that's where we would pivot towards. National Water is not a charity, after all. We have shareholders. Carl. Does he work for me? <laughs> I can't be expected to keep track of the thousands of employees. I'm a visionary, not a robot. Surely someone with vision would notice something like this happen. Are you suggesting that I'm lying? Listen, I don't know who this Carl is, but you're not the first person to accuse me of doing what's necessary to pull this company out of the abyss. Sure, I didn't get to the top without shaking a few branches. But that doesn't make me guilty of anything but success. I'm at the top of my game. Why would I be involved in something like this and mess all that up? I don't think I like where this interview is going. I give you no permission to publish anything we just spoke about. Unless you want to hear from our little legion of lawyers. Uh, enjoy your evening.
Justin, hi. I wasn't expecting a plus one. Amira, this is Deputy Secretary of the Ministry of Trade and Industry, Kiran Ayer. Ms. Dharma, a pleasure to meet you. Excellent work on national water. Kiran has been on a crusade to expose corruption in his ministry. Chen and Marlo are just the tip of the iceberg, apparently. The emails that you found were a very important lead, and we managed to interrogate quite a few employees at National Water, and that led to several key testimonies. We've got enough to put the both of them behind bars very soon. I've been trying to find evidence against Minister Chen for months now. You have answered my prayers. Now, as Justin has said, I really am on a crusade to expose people like Minister Chen and their corrupt practices in office. I hope you've got space for another client. Of course. Happy to be of service. Please, do come over to my office at the Ministry sometime soon. There's something I need to walk you through. Something that could cause shockwaves if we get to the bottom of it. Sounds good. This sounds like my kind of job. Business is booming, isn't it, Dama? Where's my car? Ah, uh, that sounds like a conflict of interest to me, Superintendent Ko. Eh, chill. It's a joke. You know what a joke is, right, Mr. Ayer? Well, time to punch out. I've got an early damage control meeting tomorrow. I uh, hope to see you again very soon, Mr. Arma. I'll be sure to drop by when I can. Uh, Justin, get a shower and a change of clothes, man. You look rough. Night, night, Kieran. So, what do you think? How am I doing? Not bad, but may I offer some advice? Remember Detective Fong? Nick Fong? Vaguely. He worked the murder-suicide at the retirement home? St. Vitus or something? St. Vitus Home for the Aged, yeah. I don't know if you ever found out. You left the force before it happened. Nick hung himself at home in 2026. Wife found him after coming home from work. My god. I never knew. I didn't really know him. He wasn't cut out for homicide. They shouldn't have put him there. Nobody asked about him. No well-being status reports or anything like that. The St. Vitus case was one thing. Then he had to do a couple of other tough ones. One didn't even land a conviction. The guy was never charged. Rich kid. Nick had to explain to the poor girl's parents why the person who kidnapped and killed their daughter was able to leave the country and study abroad like nothing happened. He saw the worst of the world. And when you see that shit, and you see too much of it, it fucks with you. I was a cop once too. I know what this line of work makes you give. So if you're going to offer me sage advice on how not to let it get to my head, save it. No, I know. I'm just saying you gotta choose and pick your work. You've got the luxury of being able to do that now that you're a PI. You take on all three clients at the same time, something's going to give. What do you suggest then? Pick one. Get to know the client and get to the bottom of their problem be more focused and a lot less exhausted. Who do you suggest I go with? Uh, that's up to you. You've got a client that's connected to the rich and powerful. And I heard you did some work for Lily. Watch out for that one. She plays chess, but the rest of the room is playing checkers. Let me sleep on it. Yeah. I'm coming, I'm coming. What was that? Bombing. What? I'm coming along. Let's go.
Riz, what's going on? Hang on, sir. Uh, civil is trying to contain the fire. Unconfirmed number of fatalities and injuries. Fuck. When did it happen? Around half past eight. There's a team compiling surveillance footage now. Justin. We're going to need ambulances. Call for extra. Where hey, is- Hey, Justin! What? Look at this.